mess event teacher. This mess event is on another level today. Girl needs to get her hair done. But yeah, I am a fifth grade teacher in Middle Tennessee and this is my sixth year teaching. Today is gonna to be another day in the life of. Um, I am not in my classroom today. Today is tutoring day, so I am waiting um, until I see some kiddos. So I thought I would film real quick, but I'm gonna take you today on a day in the life. Yeah, let's get this started. So a couple of you were asking because you've seen my mouse and how it is a Chick-fil-A cup, best thing ever. Sometimes it changes into Chick-fil-A fries, heaven. So I was going to show you how to do that and uh, I'm going to actually customize it today for Halloween because um, today is October, what's today? October 20th. Um, so I'm going to customize it to Halloween, and then after that, in November, I'll do Thanksgiving, and then Christmas. All I want for Christmas is you. <clears throat> Alright, let me show you. You're going to go to your Google Chrome web store, and you're going to search custom cursor, um, and make sure that you click on extensions, and when you scroll down, it's going to be this one right here. I've already added it. It will go up to your um, bar up here and then it's going to look um, like this right here. And then when you click on it, um, you can customize it to whatever you want. If you don't find one that you like, there's my Chick-fil-A. <laughs> um, you can click on more cursors and then it'll open it up to the website. And then I wanted to look up Halloween ones. So I'm going to search Halloween. It's hard to do it when I ended. Thirty-four results found, and so I'm just gonna choose which one I like. There's some really spooky ones, some cute ones. Ooh, gross. I like the ghost one. Oh, that's cute. I think I'm gonna go with the one at the top. I thought this was really cute. So you're gonna click add, and then you're gonna go back up here to your little bar, and there it is. And it popped up, super fun. All right, I have to do this really quick. So my teacher partner, well, Miss Brady, she put a snake, a legit snake on my desk. I'll show a video of it, it's in her room. She put a snake on my desk. Snakes don't bother her, but spiders and cockroaches do. And guess what I got on Amazon today? A bag of cockroaches. Totally gonna prank her today. Okay, so I'm in Brady's room because I needed to show you what she put on my desk. Isn't her room cute with the lights? So fun, let me show you over here. Sorry, so cute. Um, <laughs> help me Jesus. Oh my Do you see that snake? I don't know if you can see it. Not okay. She put it on my desk. We're not friends anymore. Here she comes. This is Brady, who I talk about all the time. We're not friends anymore because she put the snake. She it's got, right here. don't even, don't um, even play. With a, a, it's a hedgehog. I was gonna say a hermit crab. What is wrong with me? You should have heard it breathing Let earlier. Me see. Hi, Phil. Oh, Phil. Oh. He's nervous. Oh. You gotta be oh. gentle with him. You have to just grab him. Oh no, I'm scared. I'm just gonna put me through these gloves. Nah. Honey, you're afraid you're gonna like squeeze them? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. It, I, Can you do it with two hands? It does put me through the glass. Does it? Does it? Does it hurt? No. Oh, listen Hi. to him. He's so nervous. Hi, Where's Phil? his face? Aww. 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 It looks like he do has Do you have the hiccups? Does he speak? Does he speak? <laughs> Hershey. <laughs> Phil, if you can Phil. hear me. <laughs> Phil, if you can hear me, please say hi. Oh, oh there he is. Oh, he sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm loud. Oh, my goodness. Look at him. Hi, 
Okay guys, it is the afternoon. These were not as successful. Well, I take that back. Um, the kids in Miss Brady's room ruined it because they saw me and I thought they were going to keep it on the DL and they didn't. So they told her there's bugs in your room. So she already was like, you know, aware. But Susan, <sighs> if she was in the clip before this, um, I put one and nobody saw me, but I put one on her um, computer, like on her keyboard and her computer was closed. I heard her scream. That's how loud she was. <laughs> and the kids had no idea because they didn't know what was going on. And uh, she was like, that better be fake. And uh, I looked at her, it's like, that's what you get for putting a real snake on my desk. And she filmed it too. So anyways, you know, if you can't have fun at work, especially during this crazy year, where can you have fun, okay? This was a $5 well spent. I got a whole bag of them <laughs> on Amazon. I'll link them below if you want to trick your and prank your coworkers. I also put it like six of them right outside my principal's door. I haven't heard from him or if he saw them, I'm sure he did. So they weren't as successful, but I did make somebody scream today. So proud. Okay, so I did want to, um, wow, that is, I think that's a bird's nest up there. Go over the stations. I am obsessed. Guys, why haven't I been doing stations this whole time? I know, granted, it's a crazy year, summer virtual, summer in person, um, and you have to do it safely. But I figured out a way to do it safely and I get to meet in a smaller group. Um, I have like 150 students and for me as a teacher, I feel like there are so many um, gaps and I'm, I want to be able to meet those. And in order to do that, I wanna be able to meet with a smaller group. And uh, it's, this is the second week I've done it and I really am loving it and I really highly recommend even if you teach middle school and high school get on Instagram follow some teachers Pinterest I mean there are some incredible teachers out there um, that teach secondary level and they do stations so effectively and I feel like you can hit on more standards and also really see where kids are shining and where kids are struggling um, especially when you're meeting with them so um, this week, um, I'm gonna try and be very systematic and have, you know, stations every week and do it three days a week. Um, one day is always introducing the um, stations, explaining it, uh, reviewing expectations, and one station. The second day we do two stations, and then the last day we do one station, and then they finish up any work that they didn't complete. Um, and so that takes a total of three days and they don't move. They don't actually rotate, um, A, because it's always chaotic and B, COVID. Um, so I actually put them in color coded bins um, because, and I'll show you the slides that I show. Slides are so important, um, no matter if you're doing groups or stations or not, um, having a timer and what they need to do and when they finish what do they do that way they're not coming up to you asking a million questions so i have four stations each one of them have a uh, has a color um and so i went to dollar tree and bought three bins because the other station's with me so i don't necessarily need a bin i have a blue bin and a green bin and a red bin um, for those three stations this week oh that's heavy oh my goodness blue station they're going to read two chapters of New Kid because we are getting close to finishing Restart. And so I thought it would be really good to have them compare and contrast Jordan from New Kid to Chase from Restart. Um, Cause I think they can pull out a lot of um, differences and similarities and um, it's both, both are set in different schools and uh, so yeah, I thought that would be good. So one of the stations is reading two chapters um, and it's a graphic novel. Um, if you've never read this, I highly recommend. 
it's, it just talks about really good um, topics of race and um, equality and representation. Um, so yeah, so they're gonna read the first two chapters and then they are going to um, analyze the character traits of Jordan. And so I found this on TPT for free. And so they're going to come up with different character traits and then give some justification from text evidence. The other station, which is green, they are going to take their restart book and they are going to find text evidence to describe Chase, um, which is the main character. Um, and then the third station is going to be on their Google Classroom and it's a fable because on Monday we talked about folk tales and so we talked all about fairy tales and fables and myths and legends and all the differences. Um, and so um, one of the stations is reading an Aesop fable and determining the theme, determining uh, the main idea, um, text connection, so it hits on a lot of standards, which is nice. And then the last station, I'm so excited, it's with me. And um, normally last week, hold on, let me get them real quick. Okay, so in their station last week, um, I took some questions from our Wonders curriculum, and it's usually just a passage, and then two kind of test prep questions that will focus on one standard. And last week it was about theme, and I just wanted to double check before I moved on. Obviously, we're going to continue to talk about theme and find theme. Um, but since I had a small group, uh, we analyzed a text and then we talked about themes so that with a vis-a-vis, -vis, um, they wrote down here, what is theme? How do we find theme? And then they were able to underline the problem and um, what did the characters do at the end of the story? That way they can go back and answer the questions. So that was really good. This week, um, and also if you do stations, I highly recommend these because you can take spray or wipes and wipe them down quickly for the next group um i just dropped something anybody else have q-tips at their classroom no it's actually not mine <laughs> creepy carrots i am so excited next week is the week before halloween so we're gonna read this book and i found these really good high level questions that are definitely do you okay depth of knowledge, probably three and four, inferencing, connections, um, mood and tone is what we're really gonna be working on. And each kid is going to have one of these. And so we're gonna talk about, um, which one are we gonna do first? Yeah, definition of mood and tone, uh, different adjectives for mood and tone. And then we're gonna read the book. And then we are going to discuss the tone and the mood and then different um, keywords from the book um, because this is such a good book for mood and tone because of the color because of the word choices and the pictures and the colors that the author chose or the illustrator um so this is a really good book if you don't have it to teach mood and tone and it doesn't have to be around halloween it's just fun um so yeah that is our stations for this week um so far they're going really well and uh, I'll show you real quick the slides that I put up for the kids to see, um, which again is a good visual and it has the timer. Um, maybe someday when I get my life together, I'll put it on TPT. Probably not anytime soon. Okay, so here are the station slides. Um, obviously they will change with the theme of the time of year. So I have kind of like a spooky background and then the timer is a Halloween timer. And so instead of putting their names in each station, um, I have their table names and so they're all about food. And so instead of, you know, having them uh, change with different names, since I have so many kids, this was just easier. So I have the stations in different colors and then the explanation and then what they do when they finish early. And then I have the timer um, set right there. Now, 20 minutes, I wish I could give a little bit longer, but honestly, the day that we do two, 20 minutes is all I have. And so next year, if I have a longer class, 
then I, I would love to give 30 minutes. That seems about like the perfect time. And so then I make them in the station Google Slides. That way I house all of them. And then I go into my morning slides and I just copy and paste. So um, tomorrow, and I'll talk to you about the super station sticker swag, um, but these are tomorrow. We have the chase analysis, new kid analysis, um, the fable, and then they're gonna be meeting with me. So in order for them to kind of have motivation, I know I don't have to do this, but I love to do incentives for good behavior. And so we are going to, well, I implemented this last week um, called Super Station Sticker Swag. And so I have so many stickers. And so I thought um, I am going to put, the, put it, I almost just fell, put it on them. Like if they feel like they really worked hard and we talked about what it looks like when they work hard and work the entire time. Um, at the end of the day, if they feel like they worked really hard and they were on with themselves then they'll go over to my sticker store which I don't have set up right now but um, it's just the shoe organizers the pocket ones and I just put stickers in there and they'll be able to collect stickers and so by the end of the semester whoever has the most stickers they'll get a prize and so and it's just fun because they get to collect stickers so that's what I'm doing I'll probably put this on TBT because um, that's easy for free so yeah let me know how you like to motivate your kids if you do incentives or whatever. But anyways, stations, I'm loving. I'll let you know probably in the next month um, if it's changed, but I, I really feel like it's gonna be a good fit. Thanks for coming along with me today. I'm gonna head out because we are going to go to our church tonight for an event. Love you guys. If you are not subscribed yet, click that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up. Love you guys. Remember life can be messy, but there's always joy to be found. affiliate and an affiliate of other companies, my videos and content may contain affiliate references and links. If you buy something through one of these links, you don't pay extra, but I will get a small commission. Thank you.